I am George Catan. Uh, I was born in uh, Jerusalem in Palestine, but I spent all uh, my life in Syria and I came to the United States before about uh, uh, five years ago. Uh, and I am a writer, but I write in uh, Arabic, not in English. <laughs> and I write uh, ar political articles and I have uh, four books. My last book is a biography about my personal life and about all my uh, writings. I, I will tell you about it uh, as a story of my life. Life is a long process of suffering and pain and joy and success amid so many other meanings. It is worth living through its sweet and bad times and, and in fact we always request more. Writing about it is not as difficult as living it and navigating between its b various phases. I wish I had written a daily diary so I would not need to try to remember what happened over my seven decades. <laughs> Writing later has forced me to focus on, focus on uh, the major junctions that have left their impact on my life and cannot be forgotten. My life has been filled with the realities of successive events, starting with the Palestinian catastrophe in 1948, which led to a migration that developed into a seemingly permanent deportation from one country to another into prisons and through trials uh, to the carrying of guns with the Palestinian resistance. These events in turn led to the development of diverse political opinion, opinions that merged with others. Everyone's opinion left an impact on, on me. Moreover, I must make a confession. I am an addict, not to, to smoking, <laughs> but to another thing. I have been addicted to, to politics all of my life. I feel that politics is like a drug that moves in the blood. Maybe my birth in Jerusalem in 1940 and then living in Damascus in the 1950s where, where life was filled with politics identified the road since the beginning. Even now I don't have the hindsight to know exactly how things would be different if I started my life again. Moments of remorse are few. Mostly I have the feeling that life has meaning and purpose that may be change, changed by time. But I feel confident that my beliefs about society and what is best are solid. With the exception of circumstances spatial and temporal, the greatest influences in my life have been friends, both near and far, from the political sphere, not those from childhood or studying or even my career. While their position may have changed with distances and time, friendship always flourishes as the most important aspect of the human relations I have had. Friends, not relatives, have had such priority because of the uh, dispers dispersion of the family all over the world. Due to immigration 
from our occupied homeland. There is no paved road in life or any real planning. Trial and error was the only way, including the repeated failure and the standing up to continue along the road.